Scorpio, hello, hello. My name is Jordan. I am the owner of Lead by Light. I'm a psychic empath and a Reiki master. So if you'd like a personal reading or you'd like a Reiki session, you can book it through my site down below in the description box, as well as contact me through any of my social media accounts. I am going to be doing a reading for Scorpio, April 12th to the 18th, 2020. Please be mindful that this is a general reading. So if this does not resonate, please check out your sun, moon, and rising sign. Uh, energies can be reversed. So please flip, switch, reverse, whatever you need be so it fits your situation. Uh, and there are masculine and feminine energy in all of us. So when I talk about masculine and feminine, be mindful I'm talking energy, not sex, not gender. Okay, cool. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Like, share, subscribe, that too, if I forgot to say that. <laughs> Helping me grow, help the channel grow. I greatly appreciate it, guys. These videos, they take a toll, let me tell you. They're hard. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. April 12th to the 18th. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. April 12th to the 18th. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. April 12th to the 18th. Okay, already, already got a lot to say, huh, Scorpio? Figures. Show me what you need to see for Scorpio, April 12th to the 18th. Current situation, crossing, recent past, immediate future, what's above, what's below. Current energy. Exterior energy, hopes and fears, potential outcome. Ooh, nice. Overall energy, six of wands in reverse. I heard silent victory. <laughs> silent victory. I feel this is a good energy. I heard silent victory. This could still be you winning at something, but just celebrating it in silence, celebrating it inside well you know we're kind of all on quarantine so it's hard to have a big old celebration but celebrating in silence self victory you accomplish something and you're proud of yourself for it is kind of the feeling i get so your recent past you're putting a lot of work into something whether it be yourself a project a relationship of some sort you're you're planting the seed so it would grow okay seven of pentacles your current situation soul tribe People that you're close to, very close relationships, three of cups and the upright, this is celebrating. This is hanging out with friends and family. Right now, we're all kind of in isolation. So makes sense that this is at the center of the reading. You might be missing some people that you typically have a strong connection with, or you might just be wanting to be alone right now. Your immediate future, a little bit of instability here. You got the ten of pentacles in reverse. This is about your home life. This is about your material, you know, your possessions, your money. Um, a little bit of instability, but you're getting close to ending a cycle, which is good. It's a 10. What's crossing your current situation, this isolation, is the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of communication. So I feel that you might just be missing your friends because this is texting, emails, social media, just a lot of messages back and forth, fast movement, communication, travel. Obviously, we're not traveling much, but and this is the people that you're close to in reverse. So you might be disconnected from them and just a lot of communication about it. What's known? You're waiting for an opportunity. You're waiting for your ships to come in. The focus of the reading, your stability, your self-care, nurturing yourself, queen of coins, queen of pentacles, your current energy, delayed new beginning, energy surrounding you, needing to walk away from something and not doing so quite yet, hopes and fears, clear thought, potential outcome, balance, a lot of balance, a lot of stability. I like it. I dig it. Okay. Let's get in to this reading. It's just trying to move these so we have some room everywhere. Okay. So, Scorpio. Show me what I need to see for my Scorpios. April 12th to the 18th, please, Spirit. Please show me what I need to see for Scorpio. April 12th to the 18th. Show me what I need to see for my Scorpios. April 12th to the 18th. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit bangers. Cool. Okay. Holy Spirit Angels, guys. Please show me what I need to see 
from the Scorpios. Tell me about the Six of Wands for my Scorpios for April 12th to the 18th. Tell me about the Six of Wands for my Scorpios April 12th to the 18th. Too many. Uh uh. Not happening. Show me what I need to see from my Spinky Spirit. Yeah, charging toward your victory. When I say silent victory, charging toward your victory here. Okay, so this could be delayed and now you're charging forward. I still think it's a silent victory that eventually you will voice to people around you and that's what you're working up to do. You're just planting the seeds right now and letting it grow a little bit more. Yeah, you're not really talking about it. A delay in the communication and this is what's crossing your current situation. Okay, so this is your recent past. You're planting the seeds. You're not talking about it yet. Okay, but in your current situation, that's where their communication comes in. That's when the movement, that's when the action takes place. You're planting the seeds, not really acting. Yeah, you're not collaborating. You're not voicing it to other people here. You're doing it all by your lonesome. I like that. I like that. Tell me about the Three of Cups in the current situation. Tell me about the Three of Cups in the current situation. Ooh, no, 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 no. Way too many. Current situation, yep, Ace of Wands, new beginning, Knight of Cups coming in with an offer of love. A lot of communication about it too. I I think this is, and you got the Six of Swords on it. I think you're struggling to say no to an offer of love because you're so focused on the new beginning you're making for yourself very focused on this and this offer comes in and part of you wants to walk away from it part of you wants to accept it you're not sure how you feel about it especially with the three of cups here it could be a strong connection but there's something off let's clarify this eight of wands crossing it this obstacle all this communication let's look into that tell me about the eight of wands spirit tell me about the eight of wands holy jeez guys for real can you not just let me like shuffle cards Make this easy. So about the Eight of Wands for my Scorpios, April 12th to the 18th. So about the Eight of Wands for my Scorpios, for April 12th to the 18th. So about the Eight of Wands for my Scorpios. Holy Spirit. Thank you. What do we got here? Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep, independence. Nope. Don't get in my way. I will chew your head off. That's what this Queen of Wands says. I'm focused on being single and getting my independence right now. This is a single card. Okay. Queen of Wands. This is very fiery, very determined. The Queen of Wands can do whatever the F she wants. She can manifest like a mofo. Okay. She is strong. She is powerful. She is determined. She is passionate. In the reverse, it's do not F with me. I got things to do. I got things to do right now. And that is me. My independence, my own stability, my own projects, my new passionate beginning that I'm doing for myself. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future, Spirit. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for my Scorpios for April 12th to the 18th. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for my Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. There's some things you don't know yet. There's some things that this is a very new adventure for you. You're not sure of what's to come. You're very worried about your stability here. I think that your Ten of Pentacles is delayed. I think it's going to work out in your favor. But the thing is, there's some things you don't know yet. There's things that you have not realized with the moon here. It's hidden. It's hidden from you. And the universe will expose it in divine timing. But it's hidden right now. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't know. Queen of Swords in reverse. You just don't know. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. I'm trying to get some insight for you guys. Get a few little hints. But if the universe doesn't want us to know yet, we're not going to know. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. <laughs> Knight of Swords in reverse. We ain't going to tell you. <laughs> and that's basically what's happening. We're not going to give you any message of information from universe. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, a lot of confusion. Thanks, universe for not helping. So they don't want you to know. This is something that you need to find out in divine timing. It's coming, but you're on the right track when you're focusing on yourself and your own stability. Tell me about the three of wands for my Scorpios and what's known. Tell me about the three of wands. 
my Scorpios and what's known. Yeah, you're, you're not even having anxiety over this. You got the Nine of Swords in reverse. You're just waiting. You trust in the universe. You have faith that the universe, that this is all going to work out. You're like, nope. I'm not even going to worry about it. You might worry sometimes, but I really don't think you're worrying about it too much. I really don't. If you currently are, I think you're coming out of the energy. Tell me more about the three of wands for my Scorpios, please, spirit. Tell me more about the three of wands for my Scorpios. Ho! Oh, ha! Tamales! Too many! But you did get a soulmate card in the Queen of Cups, literally like this. You saw me pick it up. So, you might be waiting for a soulmate you know you have a lot of love for. So I'll put that up there considering I already told you about it. So we'll put it up there. Spirit, do you have anything else? I don't think you're stressing this. If, if I don't think you know that there's a strong soul and mate connection coming in, offering you love. It could be someone from the past. Yeah. And you decided that you don't want it. Here you are again, making the decision. You don't want the three of cups. That's your current situation. You know you don't want this right now. You're too focused on your own stability. Yeah, that explains why you're the queen of pentacles sitting in your power. This is earth energy, okay? Um, it's very grounded, very stable, very motherly, very nurturing, very connected to mother nature. Uh, let's clarify the queen of pentacles. For my Scorpios for April 12th to the 18th, please, spirit. I have the Queen of Pentacles for my Scorpios, April 12th to the 18th. One card, please, Spirit, for the Queen of Pentacles. Just one card, please, Spirit. Yep. You're working on your instability. You're working on a solid foundation with the Four of Wands there. You have the courage and confidence in yourself that you can do it. I know the Four of Wands looks like a marriage, a long-term commitment card. It is, but it's also about stability. It's having a solid freaking foundation. So you're the Queen of Pentacles. You got the strength. You got the courage. You got the self-confidence. And you have a solid foundation. You're killing it. Killing the game, Scorpio. Killing the game. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse for my Scorpio's current energy, please. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse, Spirit. I got the Ace of Swords. Ooh, too many. I'm going to take all these. Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. Knight of Coins. All in reverse. All in reverse. This is weird energy. This is, I want to dedicate myself to something and I don't know how to start. I know I'm starting it. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm doing it, okay? Very slow moving with the Knight of Coins in reverse though. This is very grounded energy, very slow moving. You want to make an offer. You want to make a move. You, you want to act on something that's going to be long-term and stable. That's the higher fence about long-term commitment. It's about marriage. It's about tradition, okay? It's also about teaching. It's also about learning. In reverse, there might be more that you need to learn, which would explain why this is your current energy, okay? In reverse, you can't have your new beginning. You can't take action because there's more that you need to learn, which would explain what's hidden, Okay, what's hidden is what you need to learn, most likely. Okay, so tell me about the Eight of Cups and exterior energies. I just heard don't give up the Eight of Cups and exterior energies. There might be an urge to walk away from this endeavor that you've been tackling. Yeah, you're getting confused. You're getting down on yourself. These are energies surrounding you. There might be energy of confusion, being down on yourself, crying over spilt milk, things that you can't change. And trying to manifest. this The magician is someone who has all this power and is misusing it, okay? It's someone who, um, it could be a trickster. I don't get that energy here. I think that it's more so you're trying to make this happen in a certain way and it's not happening how you like. And it's giving you a lot of feeling of self-doubt, a lot of self-pity, and a lot of confusion. I know these are energies around you, but I strongly feel this is energy that is stirring up within you. Um... But you also, the focus of the reading is how stable you are. Okay, look at this. 
You're so stable. Get rid of the self-doubt, Scorpio. You don't need it. You're stable. You have strength. This could also be someone around you who might doubt you, who might be upset because you're not giving them attention, who may be trying to manifest you back. Yeah, they're overthinking this scenario with you. They're in their head a lot. Um, tell me about the hopes and fears. Wow. So not only did you get the King of Swords on your exterior energies, okay, someone who's overthinking a lot, someone who's trying to manifest you and they're really upset because they don't have you right now, but they're also in your hopes and fears. You're hoping for them as well. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah, you're waiting for their ships to come in. You're waiting for them, but it's causing a lot of conflict. There's some conflict between you guys. What do we got here? That's not turned over. Yeah, some imbalance, remember? It's your hopes and fears. You're scared of conflict. You're scared of imbalance. You're hoping that they'll come in. And then you get in your final outcome, the balance, which is beautiful. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles for my Scorpio. You're so focused on like your own stability right now, your independence, that your, your real focus isn't on them. In the back of your mind, you're hoping for them, but your real focus is, is more on your own stability right now. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles for my Scorpios. Yeah, you're waiting for the right opportunity. You have your balance. You're waiting for the right opportunity. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles spirit. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, because you know that you have to plant seeds and, and they have to grow and they're still growing right now. It's not time yet. It's not time yet to commit yourself to somebody else because you're still working on your own stability. You're still working on your own balance so you can have your independence. Okay? Beautiful. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, a little defensive. Standing your ground. You know what's right for you. You know what's meant for you. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Please. Like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, book it down below. I'd love to do it for you guys. And good luck. I'll talk to you next time.